What's up? Nick M. Whittier here. I'm going to do a match analysis of S2J versus Bobby Big Balls from West Coast Rumble, which was a pretty big tournament uh, on January 15th. So going into this, I'm thinking Johnny's very good against Falco, but Bobby Big Ball is no slouch these days, looking very strong. I think Bobby won one set against Johnny, though I've seen him get kind of obliterated a number of other times. I've also seen them have some pretty close sets, so I don't have any thoughts about whether or not one would be pulling ahead of the other or, you know, ahead in their head-to-head -head meta adaptation or whatever. Now, I think that sometimes when Johnny is playing against somebody who plays pretty flashy and all out, balls out as it were, then sometimes he tries to step up to the plate and meet them with that rather and i think in this matchup that can be dangerous i think when you're feeling yourself a little bit too hard it's pretty easy to just end up uh running into their up tilt or their back airs or um you know getting baited or something so we'll, we'll see we'll see i'm very interested to see what will happen uh starting on battlefield uh, I've seen Bobby do pretty well on this stage in general. He seems like a good Battlefield player to me. And for Captain Falcon, Battlefield's excellent. With FD not a counter pick, I'm not super surprised to see starting in Battlefield. Personally, as Falcon, I would probably ban Fountain and Yoshi's or maybe even dreamland depending on if the falco is campy but bobby's not campy really so i mean he can sometimes he'll camp a little bit but i most of the time he, he'll go pretty fucking all out aggressive so yeah we'll, we'll see so i i think this is a pretty understandable strike yeah okay so uh bobby just jumps at him at the beginning uh johnny doesn't eat too much for it Oh yeah, right, right. So I don't want to uh, rewind much on Twitch because it goes back 10 seconds. So I'm going to be pausing a lot. Okay, so yeah, Johnny shield drops, Bobby just downers at him. Yeah, that'll happen. And sometimes I feel like at, at the spawn when both characters are on the platform, that's kind of bad for Falcon. But maybe I just don't know what to do. Um, anyway, yeah, getting downer, I'm not that surprised. He ends up shielding, so that's, that's a little bit rough. Rolls back. Up goes to the top platform. Uh, I'm not really sure about that. I feel like I don't really want to do that. Johnny goes up, tries to up air. Uh, you know, trading percent with Falco tends to be good. So if if your down air can, tr if your up air can trade with their down air and you're not going to get like combo or whatever off it, that's that's good for you. So I think that's what Johnny's thinking. Man, you got that shield drop up air out of the shine. I feel like. If Spacey does good shield pressure on the platform, you shouldn't be able to shield drop off your head. But, uh, works out that time. Bobby shields that shield drop knee. Ideally, you don't really want to shield that. You'd rather, like, whiff punish it. Maybe, like, dash dance into a down air. I think that would be good. They spy Johnny with dashing out of shield to the right, then double jumping in with a back air. That's, uh, can beat, like, if somebody just does, like, an auto cancel back air here. Johnny eats a laser from there, opts to try to double jump out, uh, and then Bobby gets in there with the shine, so I don't think, I don't know, did, did Johnny land? It looks here like he's like he's grounded, but I'm kind of surprised. I felt like he wasn't going to get to land. Oh. Okay, so Johnny doing a good job not letting the hits uh, lead to that much. Good DI out there on the, on the neutral air to not get a come into down air. Again, uh, or not again, but uh, Johnny is, is doing a really good job making himself hard to come. So, yeah, rolls, rolls back in into the corner. Not really what you want to do, but rolling to the left is usually what the Falco will read. Bobby interestingly goes up and then comes down with a downer. I'm not sure why he decided to fall up there. That's interesting, but Johnny challenges it and then trades. So Bobby goes for the shine land on the platform. That that seems good. Uh, that's what he did before. I think also when he when Johnny shield up that time Johnny opted to roll out to the left. Ooh, Johnny managed to get away with a regular get up into an up air. Oh, this could be a kill. No, okay. Well, yeah, so uh, looking 
costly air force from Bobby there. Oh, oh. Johnny mixing him up successfully there. You don't really this is this is kind of a bad luck for Falcon. If uh okay, so yeah, right there, Bobby up tilts in this area, thinking maybe Johnny will shoot shield drop. Johnny repositions back and then comes in with an up air. So really good from Johnny. It's a full up up air into a back air right there. Back air gets dodged by the down smack. And here I think Bobby is expecting turnaround jabs after the back air. And then he'd crash cancel shine it. But Johnny just stomps. Okay, yeah, so Bobby does go for a shine. Crazy read from Johnny. Down airing right there and hitting the double jump back side me. I don't know. I, oh, and it pops him up, and that's a kill. Oh my god, that's yeah. Holy shit. Okay, this is the hack stash. Whatever, 124. There's also a high chance you wouldn't get it out of the corner there, even if your ledge deck is really good. Uh -oh. Okay, right there, Bobby's at a higher percent getting reverse up aired by Falcon at the edge. Uh, can be death, but he wasn't at, a, at a zero, so it's fine. No, and he goes to the platform, but see, it doesn't. It actually didn't help him very much. Uh, so, the other thing going to the platform is like right here can be a little bit of a bait. The platforms say, like, go to me, you'll be safe. Because, I mean, you don't really want to dash dance back and then be in the corner. Because then if they start dashing at you, then, like, you're going to have to make a move anyway. I mean, which could be to the platform or could be to contest them. So, interesting there, he doesn't shield drop. I would have expected a shield drop back here or a pivot shield drop knee. I think those would have been reasonable. But that isn't what happened. And then he ends up trading being kind of a bad spot but then bobby messes up his movement and doesn't die uh, kind of thing nice run off double lasers those are uh risky but okay yeah without a read uh you're not gonna really punish this is falcon you'd have to like be in a really good position and crouch cancel them Ooh. no that that should have been a second hard knee would have been a kill Ooh. johnny with a nice double jump back and then falling to the ledge you'll see him do that a lot to get around things like a shine spike or in that case the downward angle forward tilt not trying to sweet swap from below uh really really not good like pressure there from Johnny. okay so this is a difficult ledge guard, right? Because he could have uh, he could have done anything in that, in this whole area, up B or side B. So you have to you have to be really cognizant of all these possible options. And then he just ends up side being and shortening there. I mean, you could like run off up air to that. Maybe wave dash forward and down angle forward tilt if you like did a kind of late timing to catch the shorten. But those are both kind of outlandish. Also, you know. A, Good old pivot wave dash, really late ledge hog. So yeah, Johnny doesn't get the nair he's looking for there. Bobby opts to back throw. Ooh, okay. Johnny definitely should have been able to tech, and even if he didn't tech, I think you can smash. Yeah, the laser at that percent. Like that's a hard laser to smash it though. I I didn't see that laser coming out so much, so you'd probably have to do it based on the sound. But I mean, you can you can do it based on sound for sure. Yeah, smash the up on laser reset, guys. Don't let yourself get reset like a fucking noob. Not that hard. Oh, yeah, bad get up attack by Bobby there. Yeah, so he he was probably trying to trash cancel sign the gentleman, but then he didn't get it, and then he misses tech, and then he just did a bad get up pick. Or actually. Most likely he was trying to crouch cancel down tilt and then buffer to get up attack, because that's like the most typical scrub get up attack. Do it immediately. Ooh, shines in between the nair hit. That should be a kill. That should be a kill. Oh. Okay, no, he's sh this one's a little bit Yeah, so that one's a little bit harder. He okay, let's so let, let's look at this. So right here. I like that he just reads it, but I think. Oh, okay, I'm gonna rewind all the way and watch how he does it one more time. So yeah, nice right there, getting him out of the shine. It's that nice forward smash. 
Mm, yeah, I think he needed a full hop, not short hop. Okay, and then gets him again. Right here, you, you, you want a back air, I'd say, ideally. I think you could have down smashed sooner, but I think, yeah, just, just the back air would have been what she wanted to do. You'd have to time it pretty well. Make sure you don't get hugged in a weird way. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay, no, he can. S no, that's it. Yeah, Bobby's DI on these knees. Oh! Okay, wow. So, I should be really uh, getting pretty lucky here. Okay, just gets him with an air from the platform. Yeah, it's like a kind of a poorly timed laser, I guess. Like. At the very least, you want to be able to ASCI down and then shine him for doing that in air. I can understand why you DI that. Oh, no, no. So you DI it poorly because you, you probably expected to get need to the right. However, uh, even then, he, he seems like he's kind of DIing downish right there. So that's kind of bad. Okay. So yeah, Johnny, oh, Johnny definitely barely sc scraping by in that game. Uh, bad ledge guards for Bobby Clawson. Yeah, like he he had two ledge guards, but I think I do think the second one's harder. So Bobby, I feel like knowing Bobby, he might go to Yoshi's, but uh. I mean, FD definitely the most standard pick for Falco. Found a dreams. I think, I think against Johnny, I would prefer going to FD, but against like some other Falcons, maybe maybe even Wizzy, who's known for his tech JTM. I, I think FD might be better because uh, his neutral game, his neutral game is like not the most tricky against Falco. So like, if you can, s sorry, sorry. I, I was, I was saying it backwards. Wizzy, um, found might be better against, because his neutral isn't so tricky. I don't think he'll use the platform as much in neutral the way that Johnny might. Warren punishes. Okay, he opts to go to FD. Uh, like I said, yeah, I think this is, I think this is both good against Johnny and good in the matchup. I don't know so much about Bobby's preference. Oh, and there's smash the eye right there on that. I thought Johnny might get comboed harder right there. Right here. Yeah, sorry, a lot a lot happened already. Okay, so trade. Johnny wave dashes forward. Or does he wave dash? Okay. Yeah, anyway, he he ends up narrowing, regardless of if he dash or what. Somehow he, he doesn't get crouch cancel shine, even though he did it like right on top of Bobby. But then Bobby runs forward and jump cancel shine. It's pretty nice. Right there, I think Bobby needs to delay the downer just a little, because like Johnny didn't. Ugh, maybe he didn't delay it because he didn't want Johnny to smash the eye it. But then it doesn't end up comboing because he because he did it so early. Tries to shine out a shield. I feel like it might have worked if he were faster on it. Right there, Johnny goes for the, the jump over and then tries to stop him, which did dodge the up tilt. But stop is so slow that Bobby still has time to spot dodge. Tries to shine. Kind of probably good for Johnny if those jabs didn't hit, because then he might get he might get punished and is unlikely to get too big of an opening. Uh but he might have been able to read the shine and then actually like get a grab or something. Anyway, he didn't. Ooh, again. Bobby tries to shine out of shield. Doesn't connect, but then he wave shines off it, which does connect. Hmm. Yeah, definitely just fucks up his combo there. I feel like a reverse back here would have been pretty nice there. I don't know, the 48, Bobby might have had a better idea for a combo uh, idea. It just didn't pan out because he missed. Okay, pretty standard. Ooh. Okay, oh, that was, that was scary for Bobby because he didn't have a jump when he got back aired in the air, but he managed to get down okay. Again, oh, okay, down smash seemed like a good idea. Kind of surprised it didn't hit. I, uh, I thought Bobby would double laser one time sooner, and then in my mind I was thinking contest, and maybe do the runoff uh, double jump back here, or run past Raptor Boost to beat double lasers. Felt like I could, you could kind of feel that that's what he was going to do, but he didn't have the time. Oh, gets him with the double jump back air, the, you know, double jump timing. 
I think Bobby maybe could have pushed advantage here a little bit better. Let's see, okay, he gets hit by the back air, gets hit by an air, it's an ASA going down. Ends up taking this downer though. So he walks forward, he lasers, so this is good. Johnny wave dashes back out of shield. Right here, I don't really like this nair. Now Johnny's probably just gonna, he's probably gonna roll in. I don't know, he rolls away, okay. Yeah, Bobby's thinking of rolling also. I don't really like backing off with laser here. I feel like trying to hold this ground, either up tilting or back here, like you could do it here or you could move a little bit to the left and do it and then try to like hit him from this trajectory with the back air. Yeah, I, I, I don't really like backing off with laser there. See, now now Johnny has enough room to to reposition. And again, see, now the shield, uh, I, I feel like you could you could back air there too. Like, regardless of how Johnny drifted, I think a back air could have been pretty good. Oh. Okay, nice try by Bobby to, to just get up there. Definitely how Falcon wants a Lizard Falcon. Right idea. Okay. This should be a kill. Yeah, nice. Gets the jump. So not you know, Falcon's generally gonna jump to the ledge, so if you're good at covering that with your back hair, maybe even with a shine saw with it, then you should be in good shape. Okay. I like this I like this from Bobby. Making himself pretty hard to get in on while still putting out pokes. It's a back air. Messes up, it's fine, he rolls, back airs, back airs, dashes away, doesn't shield there. Knows that the, the double jump that Johnny's gonna do that it doesn't really restrict his movement. Then he lasers, then he lasers, goes back in. So yeah, pretty nice stuff. Okay, finally gets a good shine of shield right there. Johnny hitting with a pretty high aerial, you know, a rising back air. Uh oh, power shield in there. Okay. Yeah. Gotta go. Oh oh, okay, okay. So yeah, lots of lots of things that I think I would have done differently there. Okay, I I think I would have thought Tekken plays. Bobby just goes with the roll in. Hits his shield, hits it a little bit high, but I think Bobby still tried to shine out of shield and accidentally swap dodge. That happens a lot with neon shields because of its shield stun. That said, uh, you could you could it could have been an intentional swap dodge too. Johnny kind of did a dash against suggestion. He might go in with a grab. Johnny ends up getting in there. Bobby is holding down at first, but then tries to do something before the second hit and doesn't get it out. Right here, Bobby just doesn't get a very good angle. He goes straight and gets need. I was thinking in my head that like I might run off a pair if I was Falcon, if I were Falcon on the, on the edge, because like it looked to me like Bobby was trying to get the, you know, a spot where he could angle down to the ledge. And that he'd probably go for that, but he ends up just going straight. Uh, it's kind of frustrating for Astrodare right there. You try to do a late knee, punish a spot dodge, but just don't quite get it right, and then you get shined, and then you could die off it. Nice uh, air dodge right there, but then Bobby just ends up, you know, being actionable and covering it anyway. Okay, but right, then, uh, ooh, both, both players, uh, not quite executing here. Okay, so this is this is like a pretty good air dodge from Master J. It'd be just hard. He wasn't in a spot where he really had great recovery options. But then Bobby gets a shine. Nice nair. You know, see how he does it like late and then falling. So that looks like he puts himself in a really good spot, but he chooses he dash attacks. Maybe he wanted to like jump and he pressed A. Maybe we wanted to nair. So yeah, I feel like that dash attack wasn't really a good play. And that shine, the shine pretty wishful. There's, I don't think there's much of a reason to think that one would hit. Maybe if SRJ had tried to combo into grab. But just his two back airs. Now he double jumps. Scary for Bobby, but does manage to beat out Johnny's back air. So if you're going for a jump cancel shine, he goes for a grab that time. Or like just a forward smash. You don't really want a forward smash there because it gives Falcon a free arm um, detect to the left, which gets him to the ledge for free. So you don't really want to crouch handle forward smasher. But you know, I felt like the way Bobby plays jump shine, I guess shine is probably what I expected him to do. I think SUJ could have uh, played that a little bit better. Let's see these lasers because pretty standard lasers, right? Retreats, retreats, comes in with the laser. 
and downers, and Johnny gets caught by that. You're like you kind of, kind of gotta expect that. I would, I would have probably given up more space if I were Johnny and tried to play the ground game more, or gone for a power shield. FD actually is kind of nice in that regard. I would have gone out for weakening up air there, but uh, you'd have to time it really well because Bobby, Bobby does did have like access to the ability to delay his jump and stuff, and he jumped back. When I say jump back, I mean you can jump shine, or you can jump backwards away from the stage and shine towards the stage, which can require different timings of weakening up air. Still not getting any punishes on the double lasers. Like I said, um, the most the options you see the most are run past raptor boost, run past double jump, back air, like run off the stage, which will hit him without a jump, as well as the raptor boost, or you can crouch cancel the lasers. Try a gentleman, or even try to grab between the lasers, which is actually super hard, but you can do it. And then it'll actually grab release Falco, because uh, the second laser will hit you, which is nice. Or you can try to come on top, down on top of it with stomp, which won't usually lead to much, but maybe you'll miss the tech, or maybe you can just get a tech chase off it. I mean, even getting the present is better than nothing. You can also, uh, you can also power shield. Tank the first laser, power shield the second, because the, the timing between the two lasers is always the same on the ledge shot double laser. However, you know, getting a power shield, like, shouldn't theoretically really convert for you. Ooh, Johnny tanks the lasers in Wavelands, and it looks like he's fully actionable here, so he might, he'll probably jab. I mean, I was just going to say he might be able to get a grab at, but I feel like... Like in this situation, as Falcon, if you do anything except dash back, you're probably gonna end up getting shined. He does jab, and uh, Bobby isn't able to get ASCI down on it. That's a knee. Okay, okay, nice from Johnny. Oop. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the four tail only dead after the. Oh, some messed up movement from Bobby. Okay, I like that he crouched and didn't roll in. I was thinking he might roll in, and Johnny was definitely covering that. Oh, uh, yeah, that's... Okay, so Bobby really uh, channeling West Falls for a second here, you know, with, with some walks. Run up crouch. Ooh, that's a that's a nice counter to those back airs. I haven't actually really seen people use running crouch into shine to, to beat those double jump back airs. That's really nice. I mean, he could stomp, but that's really laggy. So that's just not the space in the SUJ is thinking about. Right? He's kind of thinking about here and then the Falcons here. He shines him. I really like that. I think that was a fucking fantastic idea. Yeah, I'm I'm a really big fan of that option. Ooh, goes for the second hit up air into uh, Tom to a shine. Uh, personally, not sure if I think that that's the best extension, but, but let's, let's see. Yeah, I don't know. It looks cool. Okay, so we'll see this run up shine again. See, he's even he moves really slowly right there because Johnny isn't like really pressuring. The, the spatial stuff, like it's it kind of zoning and it like will prevent Falco from doing some Falco stuff, but he's not like like making it like the Falco. You know, he's not gonna like run up and grab the Falco, which so the Falco has some level of safety if he just backs off a little. Honestly, could like a just like an actual up air been good there? I mean, he could have tried to calm him off the stage. He's not a very high percent. Shine? Okay. Okay, well, he, he doesn't move super quickly to the left out of the shine. And then he gets a laser. Like, did he think he was going to shine him to the right? Is that, that what happened? Anyway, it seemed like he, you know, kind of got his choice of openings there, and that's what he opted for. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong, though. Maybe he thought that was the only good option. And I'm sure Bobby has a much more sophisticated punish, uh, you know, map in his head for Falco than I do. That's a joke. I have played Bobby in this matchup and stuff. Like, oh, well, oh, right there. No, no, I don't like that. I don't like this at all. Okay, so grabbing the ledge. I think that's okay. Usually, I, I, you know, castigate people and tell them, don't grab the ledge against Falco. You're just fucking seeding your other options. I managed to get the back air. Johnny's not going to Falcon to kick like a noob, so Bobby jumps right away. Ah, oh, 
forward smash it this way, yeah, you really, I mean, gonna forward smash. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I just don't think forward smash is great here. Like, even like up tilting or shining him again before he gets this jump, if he can react to his drift would be cool. Obviously back airing him would be great, but it was hard to react to his drift. Don't get me wrong. But then what I really don't like here is that he jumps here. I feel like moving forward with ASDI down would have been pretty good. Like, what's, is Falcon really going to fucking just stand and grab you? Probably not. And then after he's up there, like, this down air, uh, you put him on the ledge. I don't I mean, like, going for a Tomahawk could have been pretty fucking nice. Not to say it would have worked, right? Tomahawks aren't guaranteed, but, like, last sock, he's probably pretty scared. If you get a forward throw off, that's a kill. And now, oh, okay. Good thought rolling in, but I think he missed the tech by accident. Or I, I or he, no, he, maybe he meant to slide off and grab the ledge, which would have been good. Ooh, the get up attack works out. Oh, trade, Johnny doesn't get the tech. Johnny not moving the fastest out of lasers this game, I've noticed too. Yeah, that's, uh, that'll happen here in the corner. This should be a kill, pretty easy. Oh, the forward smash again. I, I, forward smash is fine there. I would have preferred back here. I think it would have been a little easier. Bobby, Bobby, come on, my man. Yeah, so that was just a fucking shit ledge guard. But what I want to say is you run up and shield here, which is honestly it kind of feels like the only thing you can do. Obviously, you could try to dash through or something, but like, it's so, it's so scary. It's so risky, right? Falcon loves to fucking back air, auto cancel back air and shit, so probably not what you're going to do. And then, narrowing out of shield, ugh. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna get back aired when you do that. You just you're just gonna get back aired. <laughs> so I think wave dashing back, and even though you have no space, even if you end up back on the ledge, it's better than just eating the back air. Keep keep looking for your spot. And Bobby hasn't been grabbing like that. Yeah, so obviously could wrap that up pretty easily in a number of ways. Ledge hot back air would be pretty easy. Here you go through the soft air. Get it. <laughs> Bobby not not being clutch. <laughs> it's just all it's all it came down to. And he got kind of lucky that that get up attack on the right side worked too, because that was like a, you know, SJ could have fucking need him for that. We're stomped. Raptor boosted. Grab. But need need mostly. Okay, so interesting games. Watching Bobby, you never know what you're gonna get. Very interesting. Johnny playing about uh, what you, how you'd expect, but I, I don't think his anti laser game was that good that game. So I would have I would have liked to. Okay, here let, let me let me. Oh, Johnny wasn't moving that well out of lasers. He was just playing the aerial game, and it felt to me like Bobby had answers for that. So I would have liked to go back to FD right with that like run up crouch shine, as well as like, you know the way he was back airing and lasering. It seemed solid to me. So I think that at the end of that game, I'm not, if I'm Bobby, I'm not thinking that Johnny has a mental edge on me on that stage, that he's figured out how to beat me there. I'm thinking I just messed up like quite a few times, especially on the ledge yards. So I would have liked to see Bobby go back there. Maybe he likes calming better platforms. Oh my God, he's just shining a lot, shit. Oh. Oh, cool combo. I don't know. Okay, let's let's rewatch. Let's rewatch this shit. What the fuck? Okay, so remember he shined like eight times. This whole neutral was shine. He tried to CC shine. It didn't work at first. He went for more shines. It did work. Okay, nice maneuvering from S2J. Going for that uh the wave end back air. Ended up getting in a good spot. He goes in for instant up air. I've done that a million times in my life. I don't think it's really good there. If it hits, it doesn't lead to much. In fact. The crash hits, you might even get punished, and it it'll probably either whiff or it'll actually trade slash get stuffed by a Falco like up tilt. The up tilt seems to have some weird hurt box manipulation, so it doesn't even trade with the instant up air, even though instant up air's hitbox seems like it should definitely at least trade with it. I'm not sure what the deal is, but in that situation, you know tens of thousands of times and that usually seems to beat it. Okay, so yeah, Bobby 
Wait, if that's up tilt down. See, this, this down air is kind of confuses me. Like hitting him into the ground. Like John doesn't tech. I think not expecting the down air either. That said, like there was the timing of his jump. Doing anything except down air, I don't think he would have certainly been able to combo. Or like, sorry, the timing of his aerial and his jump. Then he ends up shining him, tech chasing him. And now Johnny probably missed the, the earlier tech because he probably tried to tech late on the first downer, so he's gonna get hit by the second downer. And uh, I think that's just a DI mix up right there on the second downer, right? Expecting, uh, I think Johnny wanted to not get comboed and uh, doesn't want to get sent off stage. Okay, let's look one more time. So, okay, he, yeah, he run off and double jump down airs. I guess, and like, it's like a tech trap and now he's gonna miss that tech too. And like, yeah, okay. Oh, that was crazy. Just like, not the punishes I expected. Okay, gets him with the CC shine again. No, oh yeah, the trade, okay, yeah. If Johnny had, you know, red miss tech there, uh, it could have been, could have been pretty bad. Meaning like, could have been a stock, but. Johnny again goes for the double jump and then backers from across the platform. Ooh, double roll. Johnny thinking maybe roll a spot dodge. Oh, questionable forward smash. Forward smash, I am a fan of in general. Okay. Yeah, Bobby, uh, if he can anticipate Johnny going to that platform, he's he's wave landed across it three times now. Nice shield poke shine. Very nice. Ooh, shield poke, shield drop down air. Okay, this is a kill. Yeah, easy. Let's see if Bobby made a defensive barrier there. Yeah, Johnny goes to instant up air. Yeah, he ends up getting lasered. Comes back in with the double jump. Seems good from Bobby. Seems good. Looks good. Looks good. Good. Where does he mess up? Looks good. Oh, that shine. Uh, okay. No, so I'm going to go way back. Okay, so it doesn't get that shine out of shield. Could potentially get a whiff punish on that shield drop uh, up air. Or hit him before the air comes out, or at least go in. Doesn't Johnny doing typical things? Top platform. Okay, okay. So his, his up tilt gets um, up tilt gets spaced around there. Trying to miss an L cancel, which is a little bit costly. There's that instant up air. Yeah, yeah. So I like all this, but... This shine, right? It's just shine and then wave dash down right there. Oh, Johnny, yeah, he could have come with better off that, but this is a kill regardless. Yeah, right there, Johnny just set it up to run off me or run off double jump up air. Run up be. Hmm, I think he wanted to down him the other way there. Nice drift on that stomp. Uh, Bobby could have. Potentially wave dash to the left and then aggress with like a wave dash out of shield shine. So a pretty good game from Bobby right now overall. A couple mystic oop shines and void lands. I'm really I'm really digging out Bobby is using shine in neutral a lot and also like he keeps going for shine out of shield and crouch cancel flash and they miss like more than half the time. But he only eats like twelve percent. But when they when they work he gets so much. Oop Johnny not uh, going for any kind of all in right there. After the weak knee, a lot of times you can like, you know, ooh, the nice slide up downer. After the like weak knee at the edge, you know, you can all in them and try to like run off to a second knee or read their jump or something. Bobby doesn't, or John didn't go for that, which I don't think it would have worked. So I, I would have gone for it. And I, I, get, I think Bobby had a, Bobby was not like panicking or slipping. Oh, nice. Bobby hasn't really been up being there either, so that's a good read from Johnny. Uh oh, oh, gets pushed off the platform right there, I think. Oh, nice, noise, Bobby combo. Yeah, so that that's that's more of a Bobby combo that I'm using. Okay, Johnny again doesn't tech. Right here, platform push off west balls with the wave dash. Single hit up air, really like that one. Weak reverse back air. Even I think I don't even think Johnny di'd in there. Could be wrong. Felt like he di'd to the right. I can't off the top of my head remember the knockback if we reverse back here, but I've been in that situation enough that like when I when I hold the wrong one on the controller, I know that I did it wrong. So I guess it, it's it's not quite up here. My melee brain is kind of rusty. 
I've been focusing on Marth and Vox and stuff. But yeah, it looks to be like Johnny died to the right, so maybe he wanted to die in. Okay, something's going on. They're restarting Dolphin. BBB 960. Okay, so Johnny! Where's he gonna go? Pokemon Stadium? He won on FD. Doesn't usually pick Stadium these days. I s could pick Dreamland. Dreamland is where he's gonna go, I'm gonna say. Because I don't. I would personally ask my opponent if he would be down to go back to Battlefield, but he just lost on Battlefield. I feel like Battlefield is, is the best state against Falco and Yoshi Story. I thought about Yoshi's too, but against Bobby? Okay, no, no, okay, yeah, right. The first stage you have to run. Oh, okay, you go Stadium. Interesting, interesting. And nowadays, I see Johnny not picking the stage very much, but he won an FD, so Stadium's kind of like better FD Falcon, so I could, I could see that. Johnny moving out of laser pretty quick right there. Yeah, she, there's that shield drop up there that gets punished by the shine. That's what I'm used to seeing in this matchup. Oh, God. There's so, so okay. So many things. See right there? He wave dashed into the shine. Let's just start again from being so many fucking things. Okay, so right away, Bobby gets behind Johnny's shield and Johnny feels like he needs to roll out. I like that back air. I mean, he didn't like manage to get any cover in the middle, but back air will beat if John comes in with an air. Retreating lasers. Johnny jumps out. Uh, I mean, ideally, you don't really want to shield here, but it's fine. Okay, he rolls in. Johnny reads the roll back. Johnny tries to nair from the platform. I feel like that doesn't work very much, but Johnny somehow gets away with it pretty consistently. He seems to know the timing and spacing really well. But I feel like if people are good at ASEing down after they laser or whatever, or after they do whatever, you, I feel like you should get punished usually. So right there, Johnny tries to protect himself in there, but Bobby wave dash ends in the shine. That's like super cool. All right, shine lands again, or is it shine wave land? Whatever he does, okay. It works out that time, which it didn't work the first two times, which was in game one. Okay, Johnny gets hit with the, a reverse back and then comes down to the upper. Kind of kind of nice, get a little percent. Down air right there, trying to uh, DI mix up Johnny, if, who might be thinking about like a, some kind of reverse back air again, which at that percent can combo. Uh oh, that's a, could be a kill. Oh, if Johnny had fast fallen deeper, that would have hit. Notice how he didn't fast fall in the back air. Oh, Bobby gets his jump. Should be a kill. Ooh. So yeah, it sh sh lasers him and then manages to get a shine off of it. Uh, gets a jump. So right here. Uh, I, I guess forward smash ended up being fine. It looked to me like Johnny might get over it, but I'm wrong, so I guess it was fine. Ooh, slide offs and then just jump side beads really high. I don't see that too much, but works out well. I don't know. It seems kind of jokesy to me, like like a little bit of unnecessary risk, like getting the ledge just safe there. Uh oh, okay. Good tech from Bobby. Pretty crucial. Although, maybe he could have slid off on the right without if he didn't tech. Uh oh. Oh, again, doesn't choose to slide off. Choose to tech again. Right there, Johnny hits a really deep up air on shield, but deep meaning like low to the ground, but also deep horizontally. So, even though it was, I think it was minus one, up air can be even on shield, but I think that one was minus one, which is normally pretty safe to like dash, but. Maybe he thought he'd get caught by a shine of shield if he dashed back. So nice conversion right there. Nice snare into shine before Johnny hit the ground. Bobby looked like maybe he thought Johnny had a, a jump and he didn't. Anyway, you would expect him to at least forward smash to execution check and attack. If he doesn't, uh so what, what, I mean, really he should just jump to the ledger. Okay, let's also look if Johnny had a jump. No, see, he doesn't have a jump. Yeah, see, he gets hit out of his double jump. I mean, right there, yeah, you want to just grab the ledge. 
ideally if you turn around and then do a really quick backflip and fast fall, then you have no chance of getting hugged. You could also time your wave dash. If you time your wave dash fall, you won't get hugged either. But uh, if you just do a really quick turn around and jump, then you don't even need to think about it. Oop. Okay, okay. That laser uh, ended up fucking killing Johnny. So it, was a, it was a good laser for sure. I didn't think it would kill outright though. Oh, Johnny misses jump, cancel grab, and gets shined. Ouch. Okay, still manages to wrap that up and get a kill. So he takes the lasers, comes down with an up air, goes for a jab, and doesn't gentleman. Reads the roll. Or, I don't know, maybe he didn't read the roll. Okay, repositions as if he was going to read the roll. But then, just misses his jump, cancel grab. It. Okay, stomps into the platform. I mean, it's kind of nice if Falcon just crouches there instead of, uh, instead of shielding. Then maybe you can like jump and hit him with the back air or shine. Moreover, Falcon can't fast fall to the platform from above and back here. He can only up air. So if you're like not, yeah. So he can't really like threaten over here. And even if you up air, you might. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I, I just I would have liked to see a crash into the bay shield. So Bobby ends up getting killed right there. Nothing, uh, nothing too interesting leading into it. Uh, I don't really like the neutral right here from from Bobby. Jumping and down airing, and then see, this up tilt like. Why isn't I feel like waiting a little bit and then trying to hit him after this stomp is the play. This up tilt like doesn't really hit anything relevant. Okay, the second one though, that's that's good, that's good. Okay, up air. Let's just just guess he tried to up tilt again. I don't know, I thought I remember maybe he's going for another single hit up air combo, but anyway, he tries to cover the shine or the roll with the shine. It whiffs and he's one for a shine grab. The now just completely repositions. Go, goes back in with a downer, like uh eh. Like I feel like it's Falco. You don't want to how can I phrase it? You don't want to like. You want to you want to manipulate Falcon. You don't want to swing at where he is. You want to put him in a spot where he doesn't have good options. So by tr this, by down airing here, the Falcon is going to be gone by the time you get there. And now you're in that spot. And now he has to shield. Ends up uh, getting his jump out of shield, hit by a jab, and then rolls. Wave dash is in. Okay, I think that's decent. I think this is decent. But then he ends up shielding. Johnny ends up drifting. Okay, and then right there, okay, Bobby, oh, he just fucking just cuts Johnny off right there. Just cuts him off completely. Oh, 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 okay, Johnny playing a little bit. This is the part where if I'm Falcon, I'm thinking, okay, I need to I need to go all out. So Bob messed up his tactical there. You get a chance, you get this knee. Yeah, that knee, okay. I can I go for that too. Maybe maybe you get there a little bit sooner. You hit them. You catch their jump, or maybe maybe yeah. I feel like that that knee was like not that was not too outlandish. But right here, he double jumps. Okay, he land. I I like it. He's staying slick. He's staying slick. So now though, like instead of landing, like I, I think like trying to get to center could could have been a play there. Like if he had, if he just dashed after his land, he went up. Maybe he could have like wave landed and tried to fucking sneak sneak under real quick. Obviously, scary because felt can like shield up down or something. But I think that would have been a play. Or he could have um, tried to dodge. Here, let's 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 look at the whole sequence one more time. Okay, so Bobby, I don't know. Maybe, maybe he. I'm not quite sure how he, he ended up air dodge. Maybe he tried to L cancel, but he ledge canceled. Or maybe he got pushed off by the startup of Estrogy's roll or something. Okay, so yeah, right there, like see, he's still in landing squad. So I feel like that, yeah, that that needs is very reasonable in my mind. See right here he's shielding. I mean, but like yeah, I feel like trying to sneak under would be good. Or right here, you can read that he's going to tilt and try to drift around it, which is very, very risky, right? If he backers, you're just going to get fucking killed. But I feel like this is the time where, like, you really, really need to fucking make something happen. Repositioning, re going back to neutral. Uh, okay, well, 
You know, he gets two up airs. But see, like, these pokes... Oh, God, no, that's a chance. I feel like the pokes just aren't leaving much. Okay, Bobby should have slid off there. Like, getting that stop in the corner. Okay, okay. Well, Johnny fucking manages to do it, so... Fucking good shit. I'm glad to be wrong. Right, I'm always cheering for Falcon in this matchup, no matter how lame the Falcon. Actually, this kind of rocks. Sometimes, sometimes I cheer against Mizzy because I think it's kind of funny to watch him versus Falco. Now, that said, I mean, I, I, Mizzy's like maybe the only player I'm cheering for when he's playing against Mango. I do want to see him do that because that would be so big. Okay, so difficult ledge guard right there. Oh, nice GI mix up. Difficult ledge guard here. You can definitely do this back air, but Bobby just doesn't quite time it the way you need to. I guess him with the soft air DI makes it. So good stuff on Bobby. Solid. Oh. <laughs> That's really unfortunate. Doesn't quite get the shield poke right there on the platform of the knee. The knee hits higher than you'd expect. It looks like it should shield poke a lot of times, but like, unless you delay it, it, it probably won't. Nice try with that shine out of shield. Oh, it goes in for the wave dash shine. Okay, so right there would be really good for SJ to read that roll. I feel like SJ hasn't read Bobby's rolls and he's done quite a lot. Okay, yeah, SJ, he, likes it. he gets away with the nerves on the platform quite a lot. Trying to shine out shield, doesn't get it. Shields again, there's the way that shine. Okay, this here, here's where for Bobby I'm thinking he probably should have been able to like stop kind of floundering and, and Get something off that. The, the ledge cancel stomp into like back air. Like you should, you should kind of see that coming. That's like a pretty common falcon thing to do. And conversely, I mean, yesterday if you had been like hyper cognizant of what Bobby was kind of floundering a little bit, uh, he could have downered into up air. And when I say floundering, right? These guys are playing at it. They've been playing at an incredibly fast pace. Like we'll rerun one more time. Just look, look at how many fucking movements and moves and shit they throw out, and how many interactions happen really quickly. So it's not like he's like outright floundering, right? They're just playing really fast. But uh, I feel like SUJ isn't necessarily reading when Bobby is uh, like, you know, for example, when was the last time we saw SUJ just get a grab when Bobby shielded? Now. Bobby's like, he's taking one hit and then he's moving out of shield, but like, okay, and then there he backers out of shield. I feel like, like, trying to trick him somehow and getting a grab is really what you want as Falcon when Falco's at zero, right? You really want to grab or a stomp, because like, those are, those are your juicy openings. Like, Raptor Boost probably just get, you know, probably just hold down. Oh, okay, okay, okay. What's this? What's this? Okay, Ooh. you gotta hold your breath when Johnny gets things. They're, they're making a lot of flubs too, right? Like, let's, it's it's just kind of the nature of, when you play at this pace, a lot of mistakes will be made. Like, movement error from Bobby right there. After that jab, I'm, I'm not sure why you like go all the way up and down. I, I think you try to punch the jab out right. He doesn't, he doesn't manage to get a crash cancel on this forward, on this uh, knee, and then he, I think, accidentally forward smashes. I don't think you'd ever want to forward smash there. Uh, I think he's trying to roll. It's neat again. Misses that tech. Somehow that S3 doesn't get that knee. Very close. So that, that could have been, that could have been curtains. He manages to read that, but Bobby gets knee to the right, which is probably not what Johnny wanted to happen. And right there, Johnny Johnny had jumped. In fact, I think he jumped twice in place. So like, he, once you do the first jump, you can't really cover that. And if you didn't do the first jump, he could have hit him, or even uh, intercepted the after the epi. I like that Bobby just rolls here. He's actually in a favorable position, but this is like, fuck it, fuck it. Just reposition. This there's too many fucking buttons, too much scrapping. Just just you're winning, you're Falco. You got him in the corner. Oh. Okay, yeah, that getting need out of the left kind of pains me. Oh, that full hop down there. So, like, he probably could have up tilt or something there, tried to pressure, but he just rolls out. I, again, I think it's fine. Fuck it. But, yeah, that, that up tilt, 
I don't know about that. Like, if you hit, get hit by a, a knee that's just drifting all the way to the left, like a full dash going into me, I think that means your up tilt was fucking bad. Like, poorly thought out. So Johnny doesn't get the L cancel because it looks like he didn't expect it to actually work. Okay, okay. He shield drops, tries to apply some positional pressure. Jo Bobby full hop in the corner. Yeah, that's good for Falco. That's good. <laughs> Why the fuck not? He's not gonna fucking jump up there and hit you. There's no fucking way. I mean, there is a way, but it's not gonna happen. Realistically, especially not Johnny plays actually pretty safe. He plays really explosive. He plays pretty safe. Right, I'm the one advocating more risk than he's taking overall. Okay, so yeah, this downer just beats it there. It's kind of a bummer for Falcon, but yeah, it happens. I really would like to see Bobby pick up on these Waveland, like double jump perfect Wavelands or something. No, okay, okay where's Stuart? Stuart there? Yes, yeah, so okay, he double jumps and then Wavelands and he comes down. Like, Bobby doesn't punish any of those. You can have space those, right? Somebody runs off a platform or Wavelands off, they don't have a ton of horizontal mix ups. They've kind of committed themselves. Okay, double jumps cross them up without a bear. I think that's decent, but okay, Giants. Giant has gotten so many pokes. He's really not playing the game based on trying to get the hits that will get a lot. He's just trying to be as fluid and tricky and punish Bobby for Bobby's swings. Looks like he read the world, but ends up back airing. I mean, yeah, I feel like up air would would be the play if you wanted to cover that role, because, like, I mean, he's, he's to the right of you. Up air has four frame quicker startup, and on uh, L cancel has less lag, though, actually, if you do the full move in the air, uh, back air is actually one frame quicker. Ends up trying to cover the role with, I think, well, let's see what happens here. Yeah, okay, it does hit Bobby. To see that? That's the thing. Like, Bobby, if he holds down, he should be okay. Ooh, baits him into rolling with a just tomahawk, tomahawk, but unlikely that he'll be able to get a knee out in time here. So he just gets an up air, which doesn't lead to much. Who arms the deck? Yeah. So Bob. Oh, again, same same interaction. Oh my god. There's oh they're playing so fast. There's okay. Let's let's see. Okay. So yeah, there there we see the same thing as before. Giant rolls. Bobby tries to grab like. <laughs> <laughs> they're not they're not successfully covering each other's roles, even though a lot of the time you can see an idea. I'm gonna assume that that forward smash was a roll as well. I don't think he needed to roll. I don't know why he'd ever forward smash to the left, so that's probably what I meant to do. Okay, that time see, okay, that time Johnny reads a roll, but then Bobby shield nods. At tanking that laser, actually after that laser tank, you're actually not in the best spot. Unless you smash yeah, that laser to the right, which is unlikely because he was dash dancing. Okay, so he, he jumps out. That's good. That's smart. Like, he didn't have enough time to, uh, to Falco with a with an aerial or a forward tilt. And I think if he jabbed, he'd actually get out of space by the Falco aerial. Okay. Nice lasers. See, Johnny after landing, still not in a good spot. And then easy forward switch. Okay, nice from Bobby. Oh, what a game that was. That was just a fucking shit show of scrapping. Fun game to watch, but I don't think it plays the Falcon's win conditions, which are knockdowns or ledge guards, because Bobby's holding down too much for Johnny's like up air and back air pokes to feasibly lead to things. Though he did, he was slipping a few times, like that Nair at the end uh, after the roll. Bobby rolled the center around 80. Maybe 70% and then got narrowed in. Wasn't anything down the roll. Okay, so game five now. Yoshi's story. Did he ask him to go back? Didn't he win on Yoshi's? Okay, it was Battlefield, Johnny won. FD, Johnny won. Okay, no, you know, Yoshi's. Wait, wait, wait. Then Battlefield. Oh, right, right. So I, I'm tripping. This is what happened. Yeah, so it was Battlefield, which uh, Johnny won. FD, which Johnny won. 
then it looked like uh or no then it was battlefield which bobby won and then it looked like johnny was gonna pick yoshi's but it was actually just because they had quit out of dolphin so that wasn't a real game that was just really spawn and then he picked uh the game dead. So now he picks Yoshi. interesting you know after the scrappiest game imaginable get to the scrappiest stage uh i can <laughs> you get behind it if you're, if you're committing to that committing to playing like that i think yoshi's is better kill him way easier it's not like i don't feel like Johnny dash dance as much in this matchup, right? He doesn't dash dance in the power shield, doesn't tank laser and then dash out very much. So I think Yoshi's is fine. Okay, again. Uh, Bobby intercepting and down air in there. I like that. It's been working. Nice. Ooh, hits. Uh, that hurts for Falcon. Yeah, you hit him with up air and then you get shined before your up air is even over. Okay, there we go. There you go. Bobby just standing in place, punishing the runoff. Arrows have not felt good. Good. Get, get him, Bobby. I'm gonna get away with that. Okay. Ooh. Interesting uh, lull in the action right here. Okay, so Bobby misses that. Tries to jump up and intercept him. Gets hit by a weak knee. Walking forward while not ASCing down. So he, he eats some pokes, but not much. He's still at a great percent. This, there's, oh my god, there's just so much weird. Little shit going on. Okay, so he rolls the corner, then he just jumps and down airs the top platform. Why not? You're Falco. Rocky does that shit too. Just jump in fucking full up down out of the corner. It's fucking hard to contest. That's fine. On the top platform now. Gets the downer, gets the shine. Back or er, down airs them. I think not the way he meant to. I I would have expected like a him to try to do a di mix up to the right off the stage. Anyway, so Johnny uh, just goes to the top platform, gets the ledge off it. I don't like, not really a good stage for Falcon to combo the Falcon on. That could be a knee. Yeah, that's a kill. Okay. Yeah, get those quick kills. I like seeing Johnny ledge actually. I feel like he narrows him the ledge a little bit too much. Oh, okay. Catches Bobby out of the air. Okay, good slide off. Double roll. Bucket. Yeah, so I like that. You wave land back, maybe it'll roll into you or something. He rolls to the right, is that good? Then, yeah, I think they both jump, but Johnny gets the snare out. Uh, doesn't manage to get a read there, but manages to cover anyway, so that's good. But then you can slide off from pretty far away on Falcon, so that's unlike Sheik's. So he gets the ledge, just down airs, all right, whatever. Rolls. Johnny doesn't actually see, he's still in like landing squat. So he's actually not in a great position right here to cover this, but it does look scary and it feels scary. And maybe if you shine or something, they might shield grab you. So yeah, Johnny tries to nair. Cause Johnny was technically actionable first, but he didn't like have any, didn't have something like a Falco shine that could actually lead to a combo. Goes in with an instant up air. Uh, that one, that one I like a little bit more than the other ones before because like, he was facing forward. I don't feel like that's the spot. Here, let's, let's watch this whole let's watch this whole thing again, real quick. I'm I do want to talk about that incident up there. Dang, you see how far he is from? The, he's like he gets grabbed from center and he slides off. Like, so yeah, Yoshi's is kind of bad in that regard. Maybe it, I don't think Upsur would be that good there either because. If they add to the platform from the side, I feel like they can tech in place and you can't get anything else come up there, which leads to nothing. So, yeah. Okay, so here's the double roll. Okay, so. Yeah, so this is where you go from into not bear, right? Yeah, so right there, like he could turn around up tilt and beat your into not bear, but I feel like it's most likely that he'll jump or jump at you and then not bear is your fastest move to beat that. And uh, if he's standing there, it'll also, if he like chooses to stand there, then uh, it'll also just hit him. Bobby, however, wave dashes under it. And now ends up being a good spot. Because back to back, uh, Falcon's in a good spot. Ends up backing really far into Johnny's shield. So let's see what Johnny does here. I think he'll probably wave dash to the left. Oh, to the right. Okay, so I thought I thought Bobby would drift to the right, but he actually drifted past him. 
Maybe in real time that was clearer. Ooh, the turn red back arrow, that was kind of cool. Like it, like it, I wouldn't have gone for that. I would have just tried to set up for an E. Okay, yeah, in real time it was a little bit more obvious to go to the right than to the left. Okay. Nah, yeah, I mean, I would have just tried to knee here. I can combo to double in the kill. But I felt like if you didn't fastball, it could combo into double back here. I felt like even no fastball, it could combo. Huh. Okay, tries to come down with the up air after tanking a laser. It doesn't work out, eating a, a good amount of damage. So it's an interesting ledge option. Wave land off the platform into lasers. I kind of like it. That's cool. It's good. Okay, so he crosses them up. Yeah, Johnny had the shield there. There isn't really anything else you can do. Wave dash just tries to back air. Falcon's going to beat that. Like the back to back Falcon's at a tank advantage. Up air is from the legend catches him. That kind of sucks for Falcon. Uh, so that, I guess that's a really good up air from the ledge. See that happen too often. Tries to drop from the platform with up air, presumably. Yeah, I think that would have been a good choice. Uh, I don't know. I feel like maybe the down beat it, but he did the up smash so early, so I guess, no, I guess I think the up air would win. It seems like it was just way earlier than the down air. Was... Okay, this this back air, yeah, you can't really do shit after that back air. Don't nair out of shield there. Don't nair out of shield there. <laughs> oh. Oh, that could be a kill. Nice from Bobby. Okay. Okay, so that roll, I'm surprised he didn't get shine. Bobby just back there twice. Maybe thinking Johnny would narrow out of shield because it's a tempting spot to narrow out of shield. But tries to go in with the down air. Just gets, uh, just gets beat by an error. Falcon there uh, is going to get stopped in the center for sure. And a horizontal and horizontal thing in terms of frames it's it's uh, pretty it's pretty even because falco has a longer jump squat let me see what is the fa startup of falco's downer time I'm, I'm pretty interested okay it's five that's right that's what i would have guessed so, Nair is 7, so I think, Fal yeah, so, so Falcon's jump downer is 1 frame faster than Falcon's Nair, so pretty much, pretty much even. So if you're horizontally spaced, then it's, it's good for Falcon. Anyway, Johnny could have comboed the first up air into a grab and gone for a drop zone or a forward throw, and instead he goes for, uh, an instant up air, which I think is an okay idea. Can lead to a ledge guard situation. I mean, it does, but, like, can even lead, or lead to a combo as well. Okay, anyway, grabbing the ledge there, eh. After that instant up air and like where he was, yeah, you can combo. So it's hard. It's hard to know, say that there was a good option to, you know, people make it sound like you can flow chart any fucking ledge guard and like cover every option, but that that's really not true. It's not true at all for like Falco, Falcon versus Falco. Okay, Johnny goes for a stomp. I mean, he's light shielding, light shield, full light shield gives with Z buffer, which is what he did. I think gives triple shield stun. So even though that stop was really slow and late, he probably won't get punished. And he also was smart and hit him to the left. He doesn't want to hit him to the right and then have just push him off and get punished. But like I think like a knee could have been could have been better. And you give more frame advantage by by a lot. And also, um, th now I don't think you really want to be under him. I think you want to be over here. You want to be right here and even facing the other way. Let's, um, let's see. You miss the L cancel that now too. It's okay. So like right there, you could like pivot and knee him. Pivot and like backflip jump and knee and be like, whoosh, and then fucking get to the right. I think that'd be better, but whatever. Okay. They just end up trading. Not very consequential. It's interesting that Bobby jumped down airs, by the way, on the platform instead of shields up down airs. Oh, dash attack. Oh, it doesn't get shot out of shields. Damn. Just puts himself far enough away. Okay. Oh, oh, this is scary. Oh, Johnny just rolls out right away. Oh, God. So these guys make each other play hella sloppy. I don't think it's like they were playing bad. That day. I think it's just playing each other. Remember what I said before the set that when Johnny plays someone who's kind of swag, he kind of tries to like bring that aspect of his game to the plate. 
tries to like outscraft them and stuff. Okay, so right there, Johnny could have covered the side view with like if he had fast settled and doubled up back here, but that's like pretty outlandish. You'd have to read like his side B timing very, very accurately. So right there, if I'm if I'm Johnny, I'm just shielding. But like with the the pace of like even at this pace, I'd probably just hold shield and then hope to get pushed on the ledge by the dash attack. Uh, that said, if I were the Falco, I would have expected the Falcon to shield and then tried to forward throw him. But instead, yeah, they're they're, they're fucking doing their things. Uh, he just falls. I would have expected to run off back air if anything. But really, if you're Falco, you should probably just run off, shine, turn around, up, be, and grab the ledge. That would be like the smart safe play. You can also go for the net play thing where you just fucking side B. <laughs> we should just side B towards center. That's annoying. <laughs> this is be high level, but that can work, especially in these scrappy ass games. Good forward smash. Looks kind of noob and scrubby. It was actually good. All right, let's watch again. Randall, no. Nah. Okay, so kind of confused that he got hit by the up air and didn't just end up shielding it. So, but after that poke, he ends up, you know, just getting to the ground and getting a forward smash. As John is kind of trying to aggress, maybe thinking that he'll spot dodge or something. Not the case. He just forward smashes his ass. That was a good one. Reminds me of like lamb chops or the shizzles. They both like to forward smash in situations like that. Not the cleanest pressure from Bobby there. It looks looks cool, looks flashy, but not like super clean. Okay, so this forward air, whatever. Shine misses. Danner hits high. Yeah, so then Johnny ends up getting getting up there and stopping him. Nice drop up air. Would have really liked to see a back air right there from Johnny. 95% sure it would have worked. Like, if he drops and back airs right there, yeah, that, that hits. That hits. It'd be really fast, though. Watch some Weed Lord videos. Weed Lord vs. Daryl from my old YouTube channel. See what I'm talking about? See, see the kind of back air I'm saying? Very risky, obviously, but. I mean, it's game five. You should, you should have to get some reads now. Like, you should have a good feel for your opponent at this point. Yeah, back there on stage won't really hit unless they fuck up their jump, though. Alright, so he gets under. I don't know why Bobby was holding that shine for so long. Gets under, okay. Goes up there. Not a, really a good spot to be in, but he's he's trying to, like, play fast, mix him up. Get a shield poke right there, and it could be really good. Not sure what the deal with that shield grab is. Maybe he thought he'd shine then, like, wave land right here. Okay, anyway, he managed to get out. Gets an up air. Nice standard air right there after the up air connects. Double laser into roll, eh, eh, that's fine. Like, Johnny hasn't actually done any of those ways of contesting double laser thing before, so I think that's fine. Rolls again, and just goes in with the forwarder. Yeah, fuck it, why not? Oh, okay, that that's awesome. That's a drop zone. That's a drop zone right there. Come on, yeah, at this point in the game, you gotta think that there's a high chance. You can react, you can react. Yeah, that... Am I dumb? Let me watch on the top. Make sure that's max. I think maybe that's the drop zone where you actually kill yourself on Yoshi's because you can't hit on the first two frames. Yeah, that 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 connects. No, I, I think you could even live there. You hit on the second frame. Oh, oh, okay, that's a kill. That's a kill. <laughs> okay, good stuff. Good stuff. Bobby just getting the shit right out of his tech rolls at the end. Okay, fun set. Like, you never know what you're gonna get with Bobby. He did some really fucking Nice thing. Some shit that I was hadn't really seen before. <laughs> Not a clean set by any means, but if you're playing that faster against either of these players at that pace in that scrappy manner, if you play clean, you're you're next level. There's nobody who who does that. Usually, we try to see one player bring a little bit more coherency or uh, you know, try to reel the pace into a way where they can play a cleaner game plan, but. Didn't end up being the case, and you know, she did work. Like the stadium didn't really work for Johnny, and uh, Scrappy Stage did end up working. So good shit. All right, uh, <laughs> let me let me adjust my overlay real quick. Watch Johnny. Johnny, I think about to drink some sake. 
Let's actually let's listen to what he's saying. I'm curious. There's someone lasering in the corner. FD like you can full hop, but the stadium has platforms, right? Side plats that like it's like a shield. There's someone lasering in the corner, so it's way harder for me to like full hop and approach someone that's lasering like on stadium than like FD. So interesting. Yep, <laughs> let's go, Johnny. <laughs> let's go, Johnny. Thanks. Yeah, so he said uh, FD was actually easier to approach than Stadium because of the platforms. It's funny because Johnny loves the Stadium platforms going to them himself. And sometimes you think, you know, like, when you land off the platform, you can still, like, jump and then up air. You can fast on the platform and up air and stuff, like, uh, from below. But, uh, very interesting. So, yeah, I'm Nick M. Winter. You can follow me right there on Twitter. And I stream every day at twitch.tv slash Nick M. Same as this YouTube URL. Thanks for watching.